What? You left a voicemail. It's my first voicemail I've had, I think, in oh, forever. Because it's an hour and 40 chat. I'm not going to watch my now. This was the moment a prisoner tricked the police to escape prison. And it's just one of many similar cases, starting with the most insane prisoner escape you'll see on the internet. On July 15th, 2023, officers responded to multiple reports of a suspicious individual lurking around residents' backyards. What they were unaware of is that this individual was not only highly dangerous, but also adept at deception. Did you, you went out for a jog? Yeah, hey, jog all the time, yeah. Dressed like that? Yep. Yeah, oh yeah. The hoodie and yeah, like hoodie, you're yeah. wearing dress pants and like loafers. <laughs> these are my uh, these are my running shoes. Right? <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. What's your what's your first? You Wesley. look familiar. Wesley. Wes Anderson. What's your last name? Anderson. And Wes Anderson. Yeah. Why do you look familiar? You watch Portal? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I fought, I fought, uh, a little bit. Do you have a warrant? The police finally began to ask a serious question as the officers ran a background check on him. It turned out that he had an extensive list of active arrest warrants across various countries for offenses including assault, drug charges, and violations of court orders. He was Wait, initially transported to countries? the hospital for a medical evaluation. He was then transferred to jail upon his release. However, as he made the transition from hospital to jail, he began to pull some funny stunts. And it was at this point things started to get interesting how do countries let you leave what it was i don't want you to take it ridiculous i really don't no don't no i'm gonna put the no i have that says did you leave it down or up did you guys beat it up anyway so did you leave it down or up dude like i said we would have been halfway hey come up or down up or down you think up you sure okay 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 up up higher turn around turn we're gonna put it we're gonna he convinced the officers to use multiple handcuffs, marking just one of the numerous errors these inexperienced cops would commit. Oh, you all know this. I'm gonna poop in here. Come on, I'm not, I'm, not, hey, look at me. I'm gonna poop in here. I'm gonna poop inside here. I'm not gonna. I'm not threatening you. I'm not being dick. I'm gonna shit inside here. You're gonna humiliate me. It's a fucking moral. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No reason, okay. no reason to humiliate you. Hey, let's go, hey. Have no reason to humiliate you either, Lucy. Let's get in here. Oh, ready? Can you help me? As he was being transported to jail in the police patrol car, the suspect maneuvered his handcuffs to the front and threatened to use the vehicle as a restroom, compelling the officers to make an emergency stop on a busy expressway. Unknown to them at the time, this was all orchestrated as part of the suspect's plan to escape. What's wrong? Well, they just bring to like a bathroom that has like one door or whatever. It's like, what? I'm gonna get off my foot and shit. Stop it, man. Listen, can you uh, know the bike state and get us a unit? We are at uh, North Bottom 294. Uh, come up to Lake Hood Road. Our prisoner put the, got his handcuffs uh, in front. He's was acting erratically. Hold on, man. Listen, I'm, listen, stop. I'm pulling over. All right, hold on. Come here, grab him. You got fucking gloves. Open the fucking door, you fucking shit. Come on. Hey, you ass. Give me some of the white mask. Give me some of the white mask. Fucking ass. Give me some of the way my ass with that turn take off my ass. Oh, shit. Shit. Give me that fucking glove. Give me that fucking glove so I can wipe my asshole. Do you have the keys on you? Give me the fucking watch glove. Me. Hold on. Oh, watch it, Rick. Here. Here. Now get on the car, Lowe. Okay. Get on the car. Do it over Why has he been listening to this guy? Why like, do they not have anything else? His plan seemed to be working as the officers parked on a busy expressway, permitting him to relieve himself. But they're, it they're just following stop orders. There. You good? You good? I'm not going back in there. Huh? I'm not going back in this shit. I can sit the shit, clean the shit out. Right? I ain't cleaning the shit out. Cool. I don't want to either. Okay, turn around and face the wall. Come on. Do it clean. Just chill out, okay? I chill out, man. Okay, chill out. I can't I mean, handcuffs. Get too much. Yeah. You ready? Just stand back. Wait, is he resisting Taze? What the fuck? 
13, the is here. Taser deployed. I don't think he missed. Uh. Suspect is going southbound in traffic. Oh, he just carjacked somebody in a uh, maroon GMC. He could definitely run as fast as he talks. With handcuffs still on, he outran the pursuing officers, leaving them to play catch up. Now, the two officers had to meet with their superior and explain what happened. What the fuck happened? So, he was playing, I gotta piss, I gotta piss, right before it's time to go. So we let him piss, and then, and then it was, uh, oh, I got chest pains, I got chest pains. We're like, dude, they can't be PG in you. You're right. good. So then it was, the doctor's gonna shoot Put him some wheelchair. She wants to see while you're sitting in the chair. The officer then turned off the body cam. Meanwhile, the suspect, who had carjacked a commuter's vehicle, later abandoned the stolen red van and then carjacked a Camaro. This decision would ultimately seal his fate. The suspect proceeded to drive from Illinois all the way to Wisconsin. Police soon spotted him, initiating a tense and exciting car chase. <laughs> seemed to be having fun as he effortlessly evaded the spikes and booby traps set by the officers. However, after some time, the car began to slow down, not because he was giving up, but unknown to him, the car was equipped with an OnStar feature, allowing it to be remotely deactivated. Oh. This deactivation ensured Wesley's inevitable apprehension. What the fuck? Wait, that's insane. Since when is that a thing yet? Stop, 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 stop it. Stop it. Anymore? Hang on. If you reach for anything, you're going to... You understand. All right. Why are you putting your gun at me, please? We're okay. Easy. It's this close, sir? Let me see your other hand. Let's see your hands. My hands are right here, sir. Okay. Please do not taste this. Shoot me. Please don't get on my face. Somebody got a scissors. We can cut that Cut that belt and yank him out. Don't hit me, guys. Please don't hit me. Down the ground. Please don't hit me. Kenosha police officers clearly had no time for his games. He was arrested and charged with first degree reckless endangerment, assaulting an officer, attempting to disarm an officer, fleeing from an officer, unauthorized vehicle operation, and numerous outstanding felony warrants. You might consider this prisoner exceptionally clever, but wait until you meet the next mega criminal stack, who went so far as to deceive a cop into helping him in stealing a car. Police officers responded oh, to a call yeah. after a neighbor oh, reported two asking. men lurking around, peeping into people's cars. Upon arrival, officers spotted a shirtless man wearing shorts in a house garage. You got a call because somebody's going through. Is this your vehicle? Is anybody else in the house? Maintaining near-perfect composure, he swiftly removed his shirt upon spotting the cops, portraying the scene as if he was the homeowner and had been awakened from sleep by the officers. And the officer's subsequent request would further assist him in executing his plan. Take a look in the truck and see if Do you know, uh, I know it, uh, went through it earlier. Okay, the doors are open. Mistakenly convinced that the criminal was the homeowner, they requested him to inspect his truck for any missing items. The truck turned out not to be locked this whole time, so he effortlessly opened the truck door without keys. Furthermore, when the officer requested identification, it only served to further work in his favor. Do you have some ID on you? He made a run for it while the officer assumed he had gone indoors to retrieve his ID. After waiting for some time, they realized the man was the criminal they were searching for, and he had successfully fled. Later, once the officers had cleared the scene, the same suspect returned and stole the unlocked truck, managing to escape once again. If you're the enjoying the video so far, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, why it's difficult to Time determine whether the prisoner was oh, too smart shit. or if the cops were simply too naive. However, the next prisoner is undeniably a genius, as there was no way the cop 12. could tell that he's a prisoner. Two? What is? We got an escapee. Oh, shit. <laughs> I promise you, I'm not no damn. Oh, this is a classic. You'd have done wrong by now. Classic, literally. You know that yourself. You'd have done wrong by now. On May 4, 2006, the entire Pollock area was placed on lockdown by the police following the escape of a convicted felon, Richard Lee McNair, who had previously managed to escape twice. He was spotted by an officer, a moment that would typically signify the end of an escape. But watch how this remarkably smart inmate convinced the cop to let him go. You, you live around here, boy? No. Where you live at? Down the road by your Yeah, it's always in it before. Pineville. Pineville? Uh-huh. Okay. Do you have any form of identification on you? No, man. What's your name? Robert Jones.
Jack, it's, it's some president. All right, that's all right. Quick line there. Hey, have a good day now. Be careful, buddy. Thank you. All right. Robert this, Jones. Okay. Let, let, let me just make sure I have it in the background. Just, just make sure I, we don't miss it. Is it oh, wait, is it me around? This was the last sighting of Richard for the be, next 18 months. He should be around months. now. However, in October 2007, Richard was apprehended in New Brunswick after he, being he, identified he, he could driving a stolen vehicle. The next prisoner outsmarted the cops to such an extent that they actually ended up giving him a ride out of jail. On May 1st, 2017, Santa Fe Sheriff deputies were summoned when a man was observed walking barefoot on the highway. You don't want to come back into Santa Fe? We can bring you in this way. The officers offered to give him a ride to the city, but what the officers didn't know yet was that this is 30-year-old Raymond Lopez, who had just escaped from the nearby New Mexico penitentiary by simply opening a door and jumping the fence. During the ride to a shelter to get Raymond's shoes, his luck seemed to run out as something unexpected happened. You know, man, they just put out an alarm that somebody either escaped from the jail or escaped from the prison. That's not you. Despite his denial, Raymond was eventually identified as the escapee, fitting the description perfectly. He was subsequently returned to prison and faced additional charges of lying to an officer and escaping from prison. The next suspect took evading the police to an prison. unprecedented level. On March 7th, 2022, Pulaski Sheriff deputies were transporting inmate Joel Sanchez Delgado, who was confined. Oh, oh, yeah, another classic to a wheelchair to court in Arkansas to face charges for his crimes. Delgado had claimed to have sustained injuries during his arrests. Is Omi here? Um, Omi, Omi. They're possibly in jail and in, in the you game, and then they'll play with his zombie with them. Are we going back into Rainbow Six? Hey, you see a shoe back there? I mean, I was with the zombies. He, 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 he can probably host Moments it. Away from entering the no, yeah, I know. The officer's attention was briefly diverted, and that's when Delgado striked. Later, bitch. I forgot about this one. Though. Oh, I'm a catch you, man. I'll put a <laughs> shoe up this day. <laughs> this guy. Just shoot your bitch ass. I ain't got my ready though. Man, he's on that copium. He's going uphill too. This is rough. Hey, can you call the police for me? Call oh, the police for me. Oh hell no, you are the police. Hey, call the police. Oh hell no, I'm <laughs> good on that. Oh, hey, no. bro. Let me, which way you go? I'm not using my fucking cell phone service and losing my minutes for that no, shit. Fuck go? no. Straight through the alley, cut that way. What's you in your phone? My damn radio came up. Hold on. The suspect not only miraculously appeared to be healed, but he also managed to outrun the officer, revealing that his supposed injuries were never real. The officer found himself at a disadvantage as he wasn't with his radio to call for backup. Hello. Hey, huh? The wheelchair dude got up and ran. Yeah. I couldn't catch his ass. And my radio was in the I had my camera on, though. The wheelchair dude. Bro, this I guy. couldn't catch him. Seems they pulled off. Yeah. I, I can't even remember his name. He on the run. He eventually managed to call for backup using a passerby's phone, but by then, Delgado was long gone. Hours later, the police apprehended Delgado, who now faced an additional charge of third-degree escape. You can call him Professor X Convict. The next case <laughs> isn't God, just the toughest, in. it's the most epic. This escapee managed to elude the police for over two weeks. Watch how he did it. On April 29th, 2022, Casey White, an inmate at Lauderdale That's County huge. Jail awaiting trial for a capital murder case, escaped with the assistance of his lover, Warden Vicky White. Despite not being related, Vicky fell deeply in love, opened the prison doors for Casey, and together they fled in a stolen car. After being on the run for 11 days, U.S. Marshals finally tracked them down in Indiana. During a car pursuit initiated by authorities, an accidental 911 call revealed Casey and Vicky arguing. Hello? 
Vicky appeared scared and asked Casey to stop the car before they both got killed. Oh, but moments after, minutes. gunshots yeah. were heard, where Vicky was said to have shot herself in the head. Moments later, U.S. Marshals what? rammed into their car, rendering it immobile, and they quickly subdue the suspects. Oh, wow. With Casey secured, the officers quickly tend to Vicky in an attempt to save her life. She, why she just go all in like that for no reason? Yes. She was rushed to the hospital, where she later succumbed to her injuries. Meanwhile, Casey was transferred to a maximum security oh, nice. prison, where he faced additional charges for the prison break. If you enjoy videos like this, please like, subscribe, and yeah, watch that's this what one. I meant. I mean, all in isn't like that. I mean, like she had a job at, at the small water and then she bro. Wait, she, what does succumb to injuries mean? That means she was succumbed, no? bro. Succumbed. What does bro, that mean? When you, when you fall, you're dead. Oh, I'm fucking sorry. I did not mean nice. That sucks. Um, isn't that what isn't that what it says in fucking devil when you die? You 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 you've succumbed. I don't know why I thought succumbed from injuries means you were you fully recovered.